The following are key events in the case, December 12-13, 2017 WA Lone and Kai Aso Oo are arrested in Yangon after being invited to meet police at a restaurant. The government says they face charges under the Official Secrets Act. The two reporters are held in comunicado at a secret interrogation camp for the next two weeks. December 18, 2017 Myanmar's military says it has discovered a mass grave in the village of In Din, in western Rakhine state. December 27, 2017 January 10, 2018 pretrial hearings begin, with prosecutors seeking charges against the journalists under the Official Secrets Act. February 1, 2018 The court denies a request for bail. February 6, 2018 Police witness 2nd Lt. Tin Tui Oo, who testifies that he was part of the arrest team, says he burned the notes he made at the time, but gives no reason why. February 8, 2018 February 11, 2018 February 28, 2018 A civilian witness for the prosecution reads from notes on his hand when asked about the location of the journalist's arrests. When challenged he says he wrote on his hand to jog his memory while testifying because he is forgetful. March 7, 2018 A police officer who took part in a post-arrest search of W.A. Lone's family home testifies that officers were looking for material related to news. March 28, 2018 Lawyers for W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo ask the court to throw out the case, saying there is insufficient evidence to support charges against the pair. March 29, 2018 Mo Yan Nang is sentenced to a year in prison for violating Myanmar's Police Disciplinary Act by talking to W.A. Loan. May 16, 2018 June 11, 2018 A senior police officer denies during cross-examination by defense lawyers that the reporters were held at an interrogation camp, mistreated or asked if they were spies during questioning. Afterwards, W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo dispute this account, saying they were handcuffed and questioned every two hours by different officers for about three days during their two-week detention period at the Ong Thapiai Police Special Branch Interrogation Center. July 2, 2018 Prosecutors and defense lawyers deliver final arguments in the pretrial phase of the case. July 9, 2018 Yangon District Judge Yelwin charges W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo with breaching the Colonial Era Official Secrets Act. Both journalists plead not guilty to the charges, telling the judge they followed journalistic ethics. July 16, 2018 July 17, 2018 In a second day of testimony, W.A. Lone describes how police deprived him and Kai Aso Oo of sleep for about three days and placed black hoods over their heads while transporting them to the interrogation center. W.A. Lone says the interrogation focused on their reporting of the Indian killings, rather than on the documents they are accused of obtaining. July 24, 2018 Kai Aso Oo testifies that he was forced to kneel on the floor for hours after police found images of the men killed at In Din on his phone. August 4, 2018 August 6, 2018 Defense witnesses testify to the integrity of the two journalists, with former teacher Yanang Mo, director of Yangon Journalism School, praising both reporters as curious and excellent students who had won multiple awards for stories focusing on the underprivileged and social issues. They were jailed for revealing the truth, he says. August 10, 2018 W.A. Lone's wife, Pan E.I. Monday, gives birth to the couple's first child, a baby girl, in a Yangon hospital. She is named Thet Dar Angel. August 20, 2018 Yangon District Judge Yelwin announces he will deliver his verdict on August 27.